All right, welcome back into Indie B and B. Today we are joined by Caleb Justice of Friga Five. Caleb, how are you on this rainy Georgia evening? I'm great, man. I wish uh, the weather was a little bit better. If I'm being honest, you know, we had we had yeah. such great weather on the eclipse, and then just like that, it's raining all day, every day. So Georgia, for you. it's the uh, it's that it's that eclipse, man. I don't know what uh, I don't know what it did to our, our our world, but it changed it. Yeah, some weird conspiracies and stuff. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, well, cool. Well, look, we're excited to be, uh, you know, obviously talking to you guys ahead of our uh, ahead of our show with Perfect Animal. You guys are you're also a part of the bill. Um, you guys are playing the night before in uh, at the Georgia Theater in Athens. So a busy next week and day of this coming out uh, yes. for Frig of Five. So I mean, excited for you guys. Yeah, man, we're pretty hyped. We just got the. Um the show at Georgia theater confirmed yesterday. So it was a week and a day out and we're like, Oh shit, we gotta, am I allowed to cuss by the way? Is oh, yeah. That okay? oh yeah. Oh yeah. Shit. Pick. Pick. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just get him out of the way real quick now. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we got, we're playing Georgia theater, uh, April 17th. And then we're playing uh, aisle five, April 18th. So. Yeah. And we will, we will be there hosting with you. So uh, <laughs> it'll be a fun, a fun collaboration, but uh, you know, Want to dive into just the the overall for for y'all's band? I mean, it's called Frigify, but there's only four of you guys. So what's uh what's the story there? I mean, yeah, man, it's a long story. Um, everybody asks that. It's it's pretty funny, but uh, it's act it, Frig of, the the number five has nothing to do with like how many members. It's um it's actually what my mom was gonna be named, uh, Frigify, like the whole that whole thing. Um, that was a joke that my mom was gonna be named that when she was born. Um. My grandpa was like super into sci-fi and he read a bunch of books and um, Brave New World was the book that he like uh, told me about that he read and they, they named people in alphabetical order. It's like alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, all the way down the alphabet. And um, okay, yeah. so that was like his basis. And then he was also like really into Norse mythology as well. And so um, Frigga is Thor's mom in Norse mythology. And yeah. so he kind of combined the two and he's like, hey, I'm going to name my daughter Frigga five. And so. That was like their ongoing joke growing up. And then when I was uh, trying to think of a band name, it was Thanksgiving of 2022. And they mentioned that at the table and they're like freaking five. And I was like, oh, that's the freaking name right there. <laughs> so. Love it. I love it. it it's great whenever that, uh, that, that kind of inspiration strikes immediately. Yeah, it just like, it immediately hit me because we had a couple names and ideas and stuff. And it, it was like, I think we can come up with a better one and and then just the story like the the lore behind that whole thing and i, I was like ah oh, man that that one's it just kind of it's got a ring to it that i liked any good ones that met that uh, ended up on the cutting room floor that you feel like uh were either a close second or just like an absolute no chance yeah the, uh the main one we were going with was 18 trees that was the original name that we had which is funny because it was it's two band names with numbers in it um I'm a, I'm real big on alliteration. And so 18 trees was like, I was like, Oh, it's not like two letters at this. So frig of five when it, I was like, Oh, that's it right there. So the two F's and every, every, I don't know. I'm a nerd when it comes to that stuff. I always like alliteration and, and all that. So I'm right there with you. Like, I think that some of the, the, like every band name that I come up with that are just like goofy, like just for fun. Like I, I sometimes end up just with the alliteration, you know, just because it's like, yeah. I think it just sounds better, it rolls off the tongue better. So, yeah, it's just like easy to say and stuff. Not saying our band's easy to say or anything like, uh, <laughs> but you know, it's just like when there's alliteration, it's, it seems like cooler to me. I don't know. It's just yeah. like, uh, like a little tickle in the ear when you say it. You know? so. <laughs> I like, well, speaking of tickles in the ear, I mean, I, uh, I listened to Hello and, oh. You know, I want that to be our song spotlight. So we'll kind of dive into, you know, what that song, you know, creation entailed. But I, I want to give you, you know, my first impressions was Deftones. You know, whenever I heard it, I was like, man, this is like a soundscape, like kind of painting a picture. And then, you know, read Joe's bio and it said Sonic Adventure is yeah. is one of the like kind of the things that described you guys. So like for that song, you know, whenever you were creating it, what what went into it you do most of the writing so like talk me through you know that song coming from nothing to something yeah so actually um funny enough that song was uh i wrote that five years ago which is the oldest song off this coming record wow. um so i wrote that my senior year of high school um and it was a pop song originally <laughs> funny enough so it had like this pop like 80s pop beat to it and everything and um 
I, I found a video actually my friend was there when i was writing the song and making the beat and i posted it on instagram i thought i was like oh this will be cool and it didn't go anywhere i thought it was going to go viral of course you know you think <laughs> every video is going to go viral and then it doesn't but um yeah so i just i had i came up with the dun, 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 dun. that was the first thing and then i just put that on loop and i just wrote the rest of the song like that and then um I just didn't have the equipment to record or make rock music at the time when I wrote it. Um, but I had the imagination and that was like the thing. And so um, it just took years and years and I just kept writing this, not rewriting the song, but structurally and like adding distortion and guitars. Then I was like, okay, now I need some cool drums and everything. And that's when I got Ryan, our drummer, before we even started the band, this was like a year or two before the band even uh, was beginning. And I had him lay down some drums and so we had just had a really solid demo for a couple of years. And uh, then once I started the band, I was like, guys, like I got this song, um, this needs to go out. And that that's a lot of what this first record is. It was a lot of these songs that I've written over the past couple of years. And I was just like, hey, let's, instead of starting the band and then trying to figure out what songs, let, like, I was like, hey, I got a catalog of songs, let's get these done, you know, and let's get these out. And then um, we'll start writing all of them together and doing all that which we did for Restless Eyes. That was actually our first song we wrote as a band together, which was our first single that came out. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so. Gotcha. So a lot of, uh, it sounds like there was, you know, again, it, if it's one of those things where the, like the technology wasn't there when they wanted to make Avatar and they had to wait like 12 years and then finally it became, you know, the you guys had the ability to to record the song in the way you kind of envisioned it, which is, which is awesome. So, you know, for you guys, obviously you, Jaya, Jay, Ja, Ja, you, yeah. Ja, Ryan, uh, and Alex, and then obviously a bass player to be named later. So if anybody knows anybody in the Atlanta area, bass player looking for work, pretty yeah. five, pretty pretty rad band, and yeah. uh, they play a ton. Yeah, commit your life to Frigga Five. Let us know. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> they're recruiting. They're recruiting currently, but uh, you know, for you guys, as you guys kind of came and together as a unit, like, um you know, did you all kind of have a similar taste and background of like music you liked or does everyone come from different backgrounds? What's that look like? Yeah, not at all. We all like way different stuff, which on, like, honestly, when the band started, I was like, this might be bad, but there's like a beauty in it. And like the more we write together, it's just so cool because I come from more of like the pop land, I guess you could say. I mean, I love rock music and everything. And like, you know, that's my go to number one but I mean I also grew up listening to Justin Bieber and like all the pop you know so naturally I kind of write like that and what's catchy and what's you know so I'll write riffs and then I'll bring it to the band and then Alex the other guitarist he'll he'll be like that's you know hold on let, let's change this up you know let, and so we all kind of meet in the middle with our interest and everything which I think is is really cool and we do have some uh we all like Deftones and uh like those kind of bands and you know 90s bands but our other guitarist Ja, he's a like 80s metal guy like he loves metallica and all those bands like pantera so he's super hardcore on that end so whenever we need a cool breakdown we're always like kick it over to Ja, you know and he'll, he'll write some crazy riff or lay some crazy solos and stuff on it so that's awesome i mean you just got a you know a bunch of you know, guitar gods and just you know kind of getting it getting it heavy i love it well with the um you know, with your upcoming album, you know, when's that due out? When can people expect that? Um, and, and do you guys have like kind of a date or a timeline? Or is it mainly like, hey, we're touring and working on it, you know, little by little? What's that look like? Yeah, so um, it was actually supposed to come out uh, April 20th. Um, but we had to push it back. Like, you know, ev everything, it's always something ends up happening and everything. But, uh, you know, we don't have a date yet. We still have, I will say we have one more single coming out before the album. So the, the next single coming out is Goodbye. Um, it, we might be posting about when the release date is. So if y'all are watching this, you know, it, it might be out already. We, who knows? But, um, that should be coming out soon. And then um, we'll have the album coming out. But hopefully within the next couple months. I love it. I love it. We'll don't want to rush it. But at the same time, it's like we want to get it out because we have a whole nother album that we're ready to record. And, you know, we didn't include a lot of the songs in this album just uh, because of money and bu budget and everything and stuff. So we have a whole catalog of music. We're ready to record. You got a lot to say. I can't wait to and I can't wait to listen. Um, you know, for 
the folks who have not uh have not had the pleasure um i think you guys were on a bill and i ended up getting to the show late so i missed it i think jameson tank two years ago at smith's old bar i believe y'all were on that bill with the asymptomatics yeah um, that was that was this past december that was at this past yeah, yeah. so I, I i was dilly dallying i didn't get in the show in time so obviously my loss because now i'm gonna but i'm glad i get to see you guys front row um you know this coming uh thursday but what can people expect i mean what, what what should i expect from from the show and you know what do you want people walking away from you guys's performance uh how do you want them feeling yeah i think our main thing is is just like really putting on a show and um want people to have fun and just have a good time and so like that's the main thing and that's why I've dropped the guitar. Um, you know, I put that down and I was like, I'm just going to lead singing is because I, um, I was going out and watching all these bands and stuff and taking notes and doing all that and researching. And I'm like, what's working? What's not working? What do I like? What do I don't like? And, um, you know, who's successful, who's not as, you know, like what's, what's the missing pieces. And, and uh, that was one of the things I was like, as, as cool as, as it is for me to play guitar and, you know, have all that stuff. I can record that in the studio and do whatever I want with it. Live is a whole different thing. You know, it's about putting on the show and making people have fun and interacting with the crowd. And, you know, if you're, if you're out at a show and like, it's some artist that you want to see and like they jump down and they're singing right in front of your face, you know, you'd be like, that was fucking sick. So that's kind of like the idea is, um, just, just putting on a good show, climbing on stuff and doing dumb things and, you know, I rock love star it. shit, I guess. <laughs> yeah, dude, I love some rock star shit. I uh, I was at a show recently, and some the their ba their guitar guy came up and just started playing right in my face, and I was like, "Whoa, man, you were he looked like he was about to hit me with the guitar." It was wild, but I mean, like yeah. again, that's a moment that I'm gonna remember, and then anytime I think about that specific band, I'm like, man, like those guys in that band were crazy like we had a great time and i you know left affected so like you kind of want to create that moment and like i think I want people to come right back here. you know we yeah. don't want it to be a one-time thing you know uh we want you to come back and have fun with us and stuff sing the songs with us and everything so yeah that's definitely one of the one of the big things for us is uh when we're playing live is make people get the, have fun. So, get the energy get the get the fun going what um uh what were some of the bands that you went and looked at and you were like analyzing is like okay you know, we're kind of a, you know, this is sort of in our category, like, what were some of the things you were looking for? But also, what are the bands you were looking at that you kind of made you decide that there? I mean, there's tons of bands, like, I, I was going to a lot of local shows and stuff. Um, so, I mean, one in, in particular, uh, which I'm good friends with them is Silly Goose. And I think, obviously, it shows how their, you know, music, I don't know if you've heard of Silly Goose or not. I'm sure you have. I have heard of them. I have not had the pleasure and I've seen the Instagram. We follow, if we follow them and, you know, we're hoping to get them on the show at some point, but like, yeah, their show is like electric. I see their masquerade show and it's like blown up tons of people. So they, they put on a great show and um, I, I actually played guitar with them for a little bit. I did a little mini tour with them and um, became good friends with Jackson and the whole crew. And uh, I learned a lot from them. And then I, I was just going to other shows and I was going and seeing big shows, you know, uh, Dave Matthews, I went and saw Smashing Pumpkin, you know, just in anything and everything. And I was just looking at what works, what doesn't. I mean, it, it all works, you know, is it was and it was more like, okay, I like this, I like this. And so how can I combine it all into one? And um, I'm a pretty, I got ADHD, so I'm a pretty wild dude. I'm moving around. I'm fidgeting. I'm probably fidgeting all, all, all on this video. If, <laughs> if the mic's picking it up, it can hear me. So being able to put the guitar down and just run around and uh, do do that kind of stuff, it, it just felt comfortable. Yeah, I mean, for sure. The, what are what are some of the places, I guess, you guys have been, you know, going through and obviously you formed the band, you know, would you say like, you know, 2022 ish that time? And so like, since you guys have been going, like what, what are some of the venues and, and places you played that have, you know, kind of impacted you guys and, and, and been good to you? Yeah, so we had our first show in um, December of 2022 at His Rock. And so technically, that was our first show. We um, we didn't get to Atlanta until February. So we kind of count that, you know, as like 2023 was when we technically started, you we know, started, yeah. Um, but yeah, his rock was our very first show and we did an acoustic show there. And um, sadly the um, owner of his rock passed away earlier this year, Bob uh, rest in peace to him. And um, 
so he he helped us out a lot and he got us our first gig and uh which is really cool of him just super chill guy he had a record store so that's where it was at and it was right down the road from us too it was 10 minutes down the road so it was easy mm-hmm. when you're in coming georgia you're like yes <laughs> um but now smith's old bar as well uh i love smith's old bar we played there five or six times and uh they've always treated us well and i love love all them and we just played the masquerade um actually with silly goose which was a crazy freaking show that was our first time at the masquerade and we've been wanting to get there for a while and um yeah those are the main ones we've been in athens a couple times boar's head was very cool it was a outside bar so we're playing outside so that was really cool for exposure and just getting a bunch of people hearing us and everything so that that was cool which is how we got our t-shirt i don't know if you've seen that on our social media or anything Um, no what's the what's the tea what are what's the uh, boar's head they got a it's like a little gazebo area where the band plays and obviously me being like, oh, I'm going to do something crazy, lead singer, rock star shit. I climbed up on the roof of the, the gazebo while we were playing and they, they weren't happy about it. Um, but we got a really cool picture from it. And uh, I was like, we got to put that on a T-shirt. So we put on a T-shirt. We made it a limited edition. So if y'all want, if y'all want one of these T-shirts, you know, if you're watching this, come get one. We got like 50 left out of 100. So... <laughs> Well, let me tell you, I bet you that everybody in Athens is going to remember you climbed on the gazebo at Boar's Head on, on, on the 17th whenever you guys go play at the Georgia Theater. So Yeah, we actually had a little buzz going around um, we, when we would go to Athens and talk to people there. I was like, yeah, I was the guy that climbed on the, the top of the roof thing. And they're like, oh, my God, that's I've heard. I heard about that. And I was like, no way. <laughs> Dude, y'all are getting you getting the hype get the get the uh get those well, kids like, going the bar, they, the, the bar was definitely mad i don't know if we're invited back uh we haven't been invited back i don't know if they want us back but it you know it was cool yeah the guy i, I can guarantee i can see the bar and are like looking over there and they're like lawsuit 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 yeah, yeah that's what he was saying <laughs> yeah and i was like i get it dude he was like i get what you're doing just understand what what how as a business, and I was like, I totally understand, man. I, I totally understand it won't happen again. So hey, we won't we no more climbing on top. But I tell you what, you you can. I uh, you, out. I got there hours before. I made sure you know I was like this. This seems safe. I had an exit plan if something happened. You know. Yeah. Uh, so I felt like it was it. You know, I was prepared enough. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Well, I mean, I think. You know, as you guys get into more venues, I'm sure, you know, you're going to find more things to explore, things to, uh, you know, climb on top of, you know, aisle five will be a fun, uh, if you guys haven't played there before, like, you know, great room, you know, yeah. very, uh, very similar, you know, similar to some of the places you guys have played already, but I think you'll, you'll see there's a lot of energy and it's a great, great, great time. So, uh, I'm excited for, for seeing well, you guys there. Definitely where people are like, well, what are you going to do this show? I'm looking around <laughs> in the venue. I'm like, wow. Oh man what could i do that like i'm not gonna die from <laughs> so yeah. some, some shows i have to dial it back and just be cool and uh wish i could do things but yeah well i, I mean i think like your 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 audience participation and getting the uh you know getting the crowd going i mean i'm i'm hyped now you know even more so than than i was before on the you know on getting the you hearing it from you what you what you guys have done and your your energy of the show i'm i'm excited to uh to see you guys as a fan you know and uh yeah, you know, follow you, guys up. Row, you better be ready to catch me too I'll, that's all i'm gonna say all right <laughs> hey i got you i got you me I, i'll uh don't don't fly into tash but you can fly into me i'm i'm a i'm, I'm a little yeah. oak tree i'll let you know at least if it's gonna happen you know <laughs> I'll, I'll warn everybody i'm not gonna jump if people don't know you know <laughs> there's three people there i'm gonna let them know but y'all bet you know y'all gotta catch me so yeah well, cool, man. Well, look, let's. Uh, I want to dive into uh, a little bit of Pete Peterson's party pack of questions. It's a, you know, rapid fire ish segment, uh, yeah. as we've kind of come to find, and it's uh, you know a little bit fun. So we'll uh, we'll dive right in. Pete Peterson's party pack of questions. Twenty questions right in a row. Caleb from Frigga Five. Cake or pie? What do you prefer? Blueberry pie. All right, he's got a specific. I love it. Salad or soup. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. My bad. I'll do new. I'll get salad or soup. Caesar salad. Okay, I like it. Sunrise or sunset? What are you uh, seeing more of these days? Definitely sunsets. I've definitely seen a lot of those. I love sunrises, but sunsets for sure. Okay. You know, you're up there in coming Georgia. Uh, 
Would you rather hit a home run or score a touchdown? You know what? I'm going to um, go with a slam dunk. I am a basketball player, so I'm, I'm going to go with that. I know that's a little off from the question, but. You know, same category. I like it. I think that that's a that's a good answer. I I as somebody who will never dunk, I am jealous. So if you have experienced it, I'm jealous. Um, are you giving you know, more nights in or nights out these days? You having more? Which one of them? Oof, nights in for sure. No. Yeah, hanging inside. I like it. Yeah. Uh, when you do go out though, and uh, you know your jam comes on, are you more likely to hit the robot or the worm on the dance floor? Hmm. Probably the robot worm. It's just, if you're out, you don't know what's been on the floor and who, you know, it's just a little nasty. And if you got some like good fit on, you don't want to mess that thing up. You know? I like it. I like it. Maybe, uh, maybe it's a, it's an early move. So before the floor gets gross, but other than that, I think you're, I think you're in the right, right place. You, we've had multiple people say, Hey, like I would love to do the worm, but I just don't like the floor. It's gross. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> maybe on top of the bar, uh, I would do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Right. I get really like that. No skin. <laughs> <laughs> Guac or queso when you walk in your favorite Tex Mex joint? Queso. All right. He's a cheese man. I like it. Waffles or pancakes in the Ooh, morning? Time? Waffles. He's a waffle man. All right. Waffles with your tea. You're sorry, with your waffles. Are you getting coffee or tea? If it's if it's iced tea, I'm I'm going iced tea all the sweet iced tea all the way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Spoken like a true Southern gentleman. I like that. Yeah, you know it. Dogs or cats? Dogs. All right. We need more dogs. We like it. <laughs> Are you more like a ninja or a pirate? I think I look more like a pirate, I will say. I, every now and then I'll do the Van Dyke and I'll wear a bandana and people say I look like a pirate. So I'm, I'm going to go pirate. I like it. All right. Gatorade or Powerade after a long night out? Ooh. You know what? I'm I'm gonna choose a different one as well because I've I've really been on a kick, but it's a uh, prime. I really like prime. prime. Have you tried prime? You know I haven't tried prime. I if I have done body armor as the alternative as well, but uh, and maybe I need to go grab a prime. I I watched the WWE or the WrestleMania this weekend, and they had the prime bottle in the middle. So yeah, man, was... it's good. Once you try, if you try that and Gatorade or Powerade right next to each other, you're definitely like okay. I don't know. It's a lot stronger, but I don't know. I like Prime. Shout out Prime. All right. There we go. Logan Paul. Check us out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> toast or bagels? Toast. All right. He's toasting it up. All right. Chips or pretzels? Ooh. Chips. Kind of go with chips. Yeah. yeah. Fries or tots? Tots all the way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. TV show or movie when you, after a long day, what are you underwinding with? Oh, movies can be long sometimes. You know, it's just like if you're if you're tired, you, like I know I'm going to fall asleep for it. So I, I'll probably do t if it's been a long day, I'll turn on a TV show. I like it. But right. I'm going to be honest. I, I love podcast and I, I listen to podcasts more than I watch movies or TV. <laughs> so. That would be my choice. Sorry, I'm like totally not answering your. Oh answer. no, dude, no, I like it. I mean, everybody, you know, I think the uh, the podcast is an interesting play because, like, you you kind of still can do stuff. You know, when you're watching something, you still are like playing on your phone or something like that. But like, you turn on a podcast, you can still like you know wash the dishes or do whatever else. So that makes sense. I mean, dude, that's all. I I look forward to sitting in traffic. If you know, if I got a two hour long podcast, I'm like, all right, let's get through this thing. You know, <laughs> right, we're gonna grind through it. Here we go. Yeah. Um. Speaking of things around podcasts, I mean, uh, classic podcast question: Are aliens real? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. He's in there. Bigfoot. Is he real or she or they or them? Oh, yeah. Let's. Yeah. He's. Yeah. He or she. They're. They're both real. <laughs> all right. All right. Is love at first sight real, Caleb? Ooh, that's a good. That's a good one. You know what? Just because I um of hello, I gotta say yes. Okay. All right. I mean, that, mine was mine was love at first here for Halo. Hello. So I mean, <laughs> that's a. Yeah. Well, but th I know this last one's going to be hard. Pete Peterson's final question for you guys: Who are two bands that we ought to check out that we might not know that uh, you guys like? And we're going to tell them we sent that you said it, and we're going to get them on the podcast. Yeah. Hopefully, try. Let's see. I got one that comes straight to my mind, which is Delonia. Um, I've been 
texting back and forth with all them for a while. And I finally just got to see them, um, at inner space and, uh, dude, they are sick. Um, they're just as good as I like would have imagined them. They're all young kids. One of the kids is 15. And so it's just crazy, um, seeing them just jam out on stage and have fun and just, you know, I, I, I admired it and it, it was really cool and they just sounded good. They were all just badass musicians. Um, they were sick. Let's see. Let's think of another. Oh, geez. Put me on the spot. Hmm. Sorry, dude. It's All good. Sick. All good, man. I mean, Silly Goose can be one. I mean, if we want to, we want to count them there. They're, they're, yeah, they're, people, silly they're, they're known. They're oh, known. Easy cop out. Let me, let me think of it. Let me think of one. Um, um you know what? I'm going to do, um, Pinto Sunshine. They're a local Atlanta band as well. Um, Santi is the lead singer and guitarist, and uh, he actually played with Silly Goose for a little bit. And I'm, I'm haven't talked to him in a minute, but they just dropped an album uh, this past week. So shout out to that. All right. So I have uh, Delonia D E L O N I A, correct? D O L O N I A. Yep. Okay. And then Pete Don't Sunshine. Give me that Pinto. one. P like a Pinto or Pinto Bean. Okay. I yeah, I say Pinto Bean, but when I pronounce their name, I say Pinto for Pinto. some reason. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds cool. Uh, P I N T O Sunshine. Sunshine. I love it. I love but it. They got a cool little vibe, vibe to them and stuff. I, I definitely. Those are the two bands that I've, I've been wanting to play with uh, live for sure. All right. Well, let's get them. You know, get them on a bill. You guys get get the get the frig of five. Pinto yeah. Sunshine. Delonia. I mean, let's get it. Let's get it put together. Let's get Can it. Can I do uh, one more? Yeah, I come just on. Remember another one. Come and my on. bad for forgetting y'all. But Collective oh, no. Karma. Oh, no, Shout out to Collective Karma. They're Collective freaking Karma. sick. Too. We got a bunch of uh, intermingled friends and just everybody knows each other somehow and stuff. So shout out to Collective Karma. They're a new uh, like punk band. Um, they're pretty pretty fresh. So I just oh, saw man. them recently as well for my first time. And so. Uh, oh, was impressed by them as well. They got some badass musicians. Love getting some uh love getting some Atlanta Atlanta flavor on this, you know. Sometimes we do we do a lot of bands, but this is these are bands that are, you know, right in our backyard here. So, um well, Caleb you uh absolutely nailed the P Peterson party pack of questions. I mean, just put it to uh put it to bed. So, we appreciate you, you coming on, man, and uh you know, we're excited for they're at the Georgia Theater April 17th, day of this coming out. They're at IL five the next night, April 18th. We got an album coming in sometime this year. Got another single coming out on April 17th, next on Mon on Wednesday, right? Not April 7th. I wish. <laughs> but maybe a little bit after. Maybe a little, a little bit after. after. A little bit after. We got we'll some we got some stuff. We got new really music coming out that. too. <laughs> you got music coming out. Go stream and anywhere you find music, uh, you know, hello. It's a freaking jam. If you like Deftones, if you're into soundscapes, like it's the, uh, you know, the quintessential. So, you know, Caleb, we can't thank you enough for, uh, for coming on here, man. And uh, we look forward to uh, hosting your show on, uh, on Thursday. Dude, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, this was uh, real fun. And I look forward to meeting you next yeah. week. And uh, you, you better catch me. <laughs> I, I got you. <laughs> I got you. I got you, man.